Imagine that we have a polygon and we want to know if a given point is inside it. Well, for us, visually, it's easy to do. But what about a computer? A computer doesn't have eyes, all it knows is numbers. This is what we will learn to do today. We will learn an algorithm to know if a given point is inside the polygon or not. A simple algorithm to do so is ray casting. The idea is to cast a ray from the given point in any direction and to count how many times it crosses one of the polygon's edges. If the number is odd, then the point is inside the polygon, else if it's even, then the point is outside. That's it. How would we implement it? We need to count how many times our ray crosses one of the edges. So we can traverse edges of the polygon and increase the counter when the ray crosses the current edge. As input, we have a polygon represented by its list of edges and a point XPYP, the point we want to check if it's inside or outside. We create a counter that starts at zero. Then for each edge, we put the edge in four variables X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. Now, how to check if the ray starting from XPYP crosses the edge X1, Y1, X2, Y2? We can cast a ray from any direction. Let's choose the right side. First of all, if YP is smaller than both Y1 and Y2, then it doesn't cross. Same thing, if it's greater than both Y1 and Y2, it also doesn't cross. To cross, YP should be in between, either smaller than Y1 but not smaller than Y2, or smaller than y2 but not smaller than y1 which we can combine in this expression yp smaller than y1 different from yp smaller than y2 that was for yp what about xp well we know that if xp is smaller than both x1 and x2 it will surely cross and if it's higher than both x1 and x2 it won't cross but the problem is when it's in the middle, because depending on its YP, we have a path that is before the edge and a path that is after. So, we need to find the value x0 of the intersection between the line YP and the edge. Why? Because all values x before x0 will surely cross the edge, we will just have to check if xp is smaller than it. How to calculate x0? First, we add x1 to count the offset. Then, we need to add a value somewhere between 0 and x2 minus x1 to see how much we add in the x-axis to reach the edge. And you can see that it depends on the value yp. Changing yp changes the value of x0. The more we increase yp, the more x0 increases, until yp reaches y2, in which case x0 reaches x1 plus x2 minus x1. So, we need to calculate the ratio between the height of our point and the height of the edge, that we can calculate with yp minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1. It gives us a value between 0 and 1, it kind of represents the percentage of x2 minus x1 we add. And we multiply this value by the width of the edge, x2 minus x1, to see how much x we add to x1. And we got our formula x0 is equal to x1 plus yp minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 multiplied by x2 minus x1 is the greatest value of x such that the ray crosses the edge. So, if xp is smaller, then the ray we cast to the right crosses the edge. We increment the counter. Let's add it to our code. We have our point xp, yp, the two points that determine our edge, x1, y1 and x2, y2, and to check if the ray crosses the edge, we had two conditions. yp smaller than y1 different from yp smaller than y2, and x smaller than x1 plus yp minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 multiplied by x2 minus x1. If both are respected, we increment the counter. After doing so with all edges, we check if the number of crossed edges is odd. We return counter modulo 2 equal to 1. And we're done. The solution is in O of n time, where n is the number of vertices of our polygon, 
because which covers all edges. To visualize it with Matplotlib, we can generate a random polygon. I did it with a library named PolyGenerator. We extract the edges, which are just combinations of successive vertices. We draw our polygon, and we add an onClick event that takes coordinates of our click and displays a green dot if it's inside the polygon and red dot if it's outside. Here is the result. We've come to the end of this video, thanks for watching, you can support the channel by sharing this video. Also, I released the Graph Theory Algorithms course, it took me several months of work to deliver a quality product, so please have a look at it, the link is in the description. See you in the next video.